In this tutorial, you will learn how to print on dot paper to use the image as a guide in note taking and how to add a watermark to a PenCast PDF to merge the image with your PenCast if desired. Begin by removing a piece of dot paper from a LiveScribe single subject notebook and placing it in your printer tray. You can print a variety of resources onto the dot paper from your computer. Students can print the slides from an instructor's PowerPoint lesson to take notes and record audio next to each slide. Teachers can print a test on dot paper and record it so students with IEP accommodations can just tap and listen to each question and answer. Any document can be printed on dot paper so audio can be recorded and notes added. The possibilities are endless. Use the paper replay controls at the bottom of the page to record audio while adding notes and playback audio when recording is complete. If you are accessing playback from the dot paper, the process is complete. However, if you want to view it on your computer or share it online, you will need to consider the watermarking technique. Connect your smart pen to your computer and upload the audio session and notes. When the page appears, you will notice that the image printed from the PDF does not yet appear. Use the computer connector to create a PenCast PDF of the page you just uploaded. Open the PenCast PDF in Adobe Acrobat Pro. Open the Tools menu on the right-hand side of the screen. Under Pages, Edit Page Design, click on Watermark to open the submenu and choose Add Watermark. Select File and click on the Browse button to locate the PDF that you printed on dot paper. Make sure Scale to Relative Target Page is unchecked and click on OK. Go to File Save to save the changes to the PenCast PDF. Your updated PenCast PDF file will now have the image and annotations made with your smart pen. This concludes the tutorial about printing on dot paper and adding a watermark.